how much difference does shaft flex actually make, especially out here on the golf course. A few days ago, I did a video on a launch monitor putting a lady's shaft against a regular shaft, against a stiff shaft, against an extra stiff shaft. Now I've had a lot of people calling for a stiff versus extra stiff on the course shootout. So let's do it and let's do it now. That's what I was hoping to see. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you consider subscribing. I've got loads of great content up and coming throughout the end of the season into the off season. Just a quick bit of housekeeping before we start today. If my face does blow up, I've just had a bit of a run in with some angry bees. So as you can see, not at my best today. Hoping that one just disappears by itself. Today I have the TaylorMade M3 440 head. If you've been watching my vlogs, you'll know that I've come to quite like this head. It's very, very nice. I have a tensai extra stiff shaft in 60 gram and also a tensai stiff shaft in 60 gram. We're gonna get out there on the golf course where it really matters, hit a couple of drives off a couple of tees. I'm gonna check the difference in not only distance, but in fairways that I can hit. Let's get straight to it. We're gonna go extra stiff shaft first. I've marked the golf balls up, let's do it. Great strike, but it's a tiny bit left. Now that's an interesting one. For me, when I tested the extra stiff shaft on the launch monitor, I felt like I couldn't hit that left shot. First tee shot of the day and we're in the left hand rough. Let's change it up and go stiff shaft. Hmm, that was pretty perfect. Let's go find them and check the difference. Okay, this just shows you the margins we are playing with. We have the stiff shaft just there, left hand side of the fairway and pretty level with it. We have, confirm this one for you, the extra stiff. Now, anyone can pretty much tell me there that the stiff shaft is at an advantage. It's two or three yards longer, it's in the fairway. I really wouldn't be fancying that lie with the extra stiff shaft, although they were the first two golf swings of the day. Is that down to the shaft? Is it down to the pilot? It's gonna be a little bit of both at this time in the morning. Let's get to the next tee and hit a couple more. How's the head looking after the wasp attack? There's another one there. <laughs> what is it today? Okay, second tee, and just before we hit these shots, let's take a look at the numbers from the video that I put these shafts on the flight scope. I'll put the stiff one up there first. As you can see, not bad distance and very good spin rate. If I now put the extra stiff shaft on there, you'll see a little bit more distance, and for me, a better spin rate. Now, the important thing, obviously, is how they perform out on this golf course, so this test, I'll be honest, is gonna be the be all and end all. And I recommend you guys at home do something similar when looking at a driver, if you're in between something. I'm very much in between these shafts at the minute. Let's go stiff first and extra stiff second this time. Now this is quite a tight fairway, so I need the dispersion to be on point. Oh wow, that was good, that was very good. Oh, he's took a nasty kick left though. Stiff shaft, Decent shot, it took a nasty kick left. We're in the thick rough. Let's go X and see if I can straighten that out. That's what I was hoping to see. Straight out the middle, straight down the middle. Nice trajectory, nice flight, beautiful. Let's go see where they are. Out here on the second fairway, and this is looking like one apiece. I have the extra stiff one just here, middle of the fairway, and the stiff one, I'll admit it took a bad bounce, but in the interest of fairness, we are there. Hardly scientific, I know, but the, the line has to be drawn somewhere. 
that's one apiece. Let's get to the next tee. It's a tight par five. Usually I wouldn't hit driver off this one. So guess what we are going to do? I should just say as well, in the matter of interest, when I am setting this driver up, I've got it on just lower than 10 degree, about 9.25, as close to 9.5 as I can get it. And also we are using Titleist Pro V1X balls today for both clubs. Okay, third tee here at Huddersfield Golf Club, fairly tight par five. You would usually just hit an iron down there, not today. I'm going extra stiff shaft first and I'm gonna take pretty much the tightest line we can do. Let's do it. Hmm, now they could both be a tiny bit left. The extra stiff did hang on a little bit more. Let's go find out where they are. I'm reporting to you live from the trees on the left-hand side of the third hole. We've found the stiff shaft ball. These wasps. And if we look through those trees, really don't know if you're going to be able to make that out. There is the extra stiff shaft ball. Let's go take a look just to make sure. Hop on buggy cam because we don't have much time left. I personally thought the extra stiff did hang on. I didn't think it was going to be this good. Covering some ground here. Which one is it? Absolutely is. So that is a really interesting one and that is one which I felt like I was getting on the flight scope more in the last video. Again, if you've not watched that, go and check it out. I felt like I could hit it hard and not go left. The first swing of the day off the first tee did go left with the extra stiff shaft, but in fairness, it's 6am, or it was 6am, it's more like 6.45 now. We're wasting time. It's another one there. <laughs> These wasps, honestly. Anyway, we've got time for one more hole and it is an absolute beaut. We're going to the seventh tee, it's tight as hell. We will probably lose both golf balls, but let's do it. And let's do it now. As if by magic, we're here on the seventh tee. This is a really tight hole, not one again you would normally hit driver on. I'm trying to get some testing done in pressure situations. Let's do it. Woo! Now that's two drives pretty much as good as I can hit. Both on a good line, both should be near the green. Let's go find out where they are and have a little bit of a roundup. Buggy cam once again and we can see two balls nicely in the fairway. Let's go see which is which. Two big hits, actually. Now, I wouldn't normally hit driver on here, but looking at these two, I don't know why not. Here we have stiff shaft, and there we have extra stiff shaft. So in fairness, when I put the good swings on these clubs, it's evident that there's not a lot in it. Just like the flight scope, just like the launch monitor predicted. Is there a massive difference between stiff and extra stiff? For me, not really. I can miss a fairway with an extra stiff, I can hit a fairway with an extra stiff, and I can do both with the stiff shaft as well. Guys, I hope you found that enjoyable, I hope you found it insightful. For me, I'm going to be putting the extra stiff shaft in the bag, I feel like I can hit it harder and it doesn't quite turn over as much. That's it, that's the only reason why, if you remember the shot down the par five, 
that's the one that sticks in my mind. If you haven't seen the video yet on shaft comparisons with the launch monitor, make sure you go check that out because that was a great video, it was fun to do, and actually if you look at the ladies shaft you may be surprised. Should I get that one out on the golf course next time? I'm James Robinson, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon.